This is it, guys and gals, the new thing, the moving, grooving thing. You said school was a bummer? Well, baby, it ain't no more. This is... Top 40 Education with the one and only... Doc Rock. Now keep your ear pressed to that blackboard, because we're switching to English Central and Super Prof. Gotta learn to dance before we learn to walk. Gotta learn to spell before we learn to talk. And Super Prof's here to please with the ABCs. Super Prof, Super English time. Correct this sentence. I want my pimple should clear up. <laughs> Tired of classes that keep throwing the book at you? Well, now you can sign up for one that'll let you use your own hands to make valuable objects. By the time we got to workshop, we were half a million strong. Everybody's heading for woodshop. Stop by and talk to the carpenters. Before you know it, you'll be making your own hat racks, birdhouses, wooden legs. Check it out today. You can study the moon or inflate a balloon. You can analyze the moon on a second rack moon. Cause science man's coming in the room. Science man with a big B biology. Today we're going to study bacteria. How we're going to infect ourselves with botulism right after this message. And now a statement of editorial opinion from Mr. Harry W. Keister, general manager and principal. It has come to our attention that large numbers of pupils have been walking in the halls without a pass. From now on, if you are caught in the halls without a pass, you will be shot. Thank you. And now, the news. Professor Scoop with the latest poop. A big fight in the second floor boys' washroom puts washroom monitor Bruce Purvis in the infirmary again. Sophomore chemistry lab is raided by the narc squad. The principal reports that someone has stolen his desk. And in the lunchroom, milk goes up a penny today after the threat of a strike by Bessie and Viola. Now, down to our between periods traffic spotter. This is flying patrol boy Billy Bumpo cruising on the first floor just north of the tardy office. Traffic is moving very... Oh, oh, a locker is open and a bunch of books have fallen on the floor. Traffic is really backing up. It's a bad one. If you have a class at this end of the first floor, I suggest you attend an alternate class on the second or the third floor. Well, that's the bell. We'll be back with another flying traffic report between fourth and fifth periods. Now we switch you down to phys ed. Hi! This is phys ed here with the gym class. Today we're going to meditate. Ready now? Meditate. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, everybody meditate here. One, two, you there. You're not meditating. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to do some inhaling exercises. But first, this message. Where can you go between 12 and 1? Where can you go for fight or fun? Where can you get sick each day at noon? Right, gang, the lunchroom. No far-out organic foods, just good old American oatmeal burgers. Stupendous grease-flavored french fries. Delicious chocolate milk chock full of nourishing wax. It's all in the lunchroom where you get yesterday's food today. This is Nancy Fancy with Home Economics. Today we're going to learn about our clothing. And the way we're going to learn is by making an actual piece of clothing we can wear ourselves or give to a friend. We are going to tie-dye a tie. Now watch carefully. First, we take the tie we're going to dye and tie it. When the tie is tightly tied, we dip the tie in the tie-dye dye. When the tie-dye tie is dry, we untie the tie and take the dye we've just applied and set it aside. Retie the tie-dye tie, take another dye, dip the retied tie in this dye too. Take it out, let it dry, untie the tie, and you've got a tie-dye tie. And that tie's not all you can tie-dye. You can tie-dye a tutu, too. Take the tutu, tie the tutu, dip it in the dye, let it dry like the tie we dyed. Now tear the tutu in two. Now you've got two tutus to tie-dye. Take the two ties you tie-dyed and the two tutus you've torn in two and tied and dip them in the dye. And now, the all-night obituary of the air. Spuffer. Michael J., age 67, of Encino, California. Beloved husband of Lucille and Margaret. Father of two daughters, Delilah and Delicious, and two sons, Elizabeth and Helen. 
grandfather of 19, Joseph Edgar Winston, <laughs> Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Arrow, Smith, Rhinoceros, <laughs> Bernie, Yorty, Shorty, Ted, Fred, W4, Rhododendron, Abercrombie and Fitch, burial Tuesday in the family garden. An open letter to the youth of America. Dear youth, I'm writing this letter with a heavy hand. There are great troubles in this glorious land that us old people once died to save. And I feel that today's young need to listen to the raspy voice of today's old. Us old people are the ones who built the toll roads and the condominiums, you know. We invented the electric pencil sharpener and the disposable stove. We're oldies but goodies. After all, who founded this great land but old people? Why, George Washington would be over 200 if he was alive today. Marco Polo, he'd be over 600. You have no respect for the old values like money. Without money, where would our millionaires be? Great Americans like Scrooge McDuck. Pay attention, youth. Make sure you wear good, sturdy shoes. God only gives you one pair of feet, and if you ruin them with bad shoes, you'll end up walking weird like Fred Barton who works out at the pharmacy. And the way you live, all together in communes, eating together, sleeping together, shameful, it's uncivilized. Right on. You ought to live like us old people do in a boarding house. The idea of getting married when you're 18, 19 years old, foolishness. You should wait till you're old and have children of your own. And about your hair, long hair is okay with me. Some of our greatest Americans had long hair, like that famous actor, John Wilkes Booth and, and Eleanor Roosevelt. And when I hear you disagreeing all the time, all the time disagreeing, that's all right, youth. It's American to disagree. As American as apple pie or a prune Danish. But if you're going to disagree, you should disagree with another youth, not with us old people. And another thing, youth, you don't eat food. It's something else, something that deeply disturbs all of America. Youth and drugs. You should never take more than two aspirins. Two aspirins every four hours. Avoid continued use. Do not operate heavy machinery. Avoid or prohibited by law. This is the late Edward R. Murrow with the late news from heaven. Tonight's headlines, police seize 35 pounds of angel dust in a raid on John Cocteau's house. George Washington Carver demands royalties from the peanut butter industry. Thomas Jefferson's comment on that, power to the peanut right on. And now, let's switch to Gossip Central for a peek behind the clouds. Hi, gang. This is Oscar Wilde with a hot flash. Oh. Well, Casanova was seen leaving the palace last night, and his only comment was that Catherine the Great really wasn't. Jesus Christ has been just impossible since he became a superstar, and now he's moving to an unlisted cloud. Jesus Christ, Jesus. And today's big item, Al Jolson leaves tomorrow to entertain all the dead troops. That's it from Oscar, Ed. Thanks, Oscar. Now, here's an anti-drug message from W.C. Fields on Cloud 9. Ah, yes. Drugs are harmful to your corporeal functions, and they do not satisfy the taste buds nearly so well as a nip of the old barley corn. Thanks, Bill. Now... I'll never forget the time I died. I was lying supine in my chamber, and my eyes slowly closed. Thank you, Bill. Next thing I knew, I was in heaven. And then there was a time I was hunting larynxes in the Serengeti plain of Africa. Thanks, Bill. And now... We were surrounded by hundreds of little Thank devils. you, Bill. Now, for a look at what heaven's thinking, as we switch down to our man in the street, William Randolph Hearst. Come in, Randy. We're down here on the Golden Streets, talking to passers-by, and... Here's a face we all know, Abe Lincoln. What do you think about the current situation back on Earth? I think it's a mess. The niggers uh, are Abe. all... Abe! Uh, Thanks, Abe Lincoln. Now, oh, here's Spike Jones. What do you think about the current world situation? I see. And here comes Confucius. Sir, can you give us a little philosophical comment? Girl who fly upside down in airplane... Uh, sir, uh, you, uh... Oh, here comes... A excuse me, aren't you Paul McCartney? No, I'm just a rumor. Well, that's it from the man in the street. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming.
Are you bored with your present job? Does your life seem more like a life sentence? Well, now there's an amazing opportunity for young and talented people in the rapidly expanding area of jurisprudence. Yes, you can have success, even wealth, by enrolling now in the famous judges' school. You may be under the impression that it takes years of training to become a judge, but you're wrong. America's ever-increasing backlog of court cases and the shortage of qualified judges have created a crying need, and more old judges are leaving the bench every day. Just look at today's headlines. Judge indicted for extortion. Judge gets 30 years. Judge caught running a call girl ring. Who will replace these men? Why not you? Send for our free booklet, Career Opportunities in the Judging Profession. It could be just the reprieve you're looking for. Crean, Harlow W., age 39, of New York. Beloved roommate of Bruce Purvis, also of New York. Survived by four poodles, Winky Poo, Nanky Poo, Dinky Poo and Hanky Panky. In lieu of flowers, please send donations to the Dreyfus Fund. Yes, ma'am. Just come in and fill out the forms, and the doctor can perform your abortion right away. Thank you for calling. Can I help you? I'd like to get an... and I'd like to have my... Calm oh. down now. There's no need to be embarrassed anymore. This is an enlightened age. Sit down, you'll fill out the forms, then the doctor will take care of you. You sure it's all legal? Perfectly legal. We want to get rid of the stigma of having an abortion. It's legal, it's sanitary, it's expertly performed, and it's 100% safe. Now, can I have your name? My... my name? We need your name for the form. Can't you do it without my name? Remember when abortions were illegal? Girls went to butchers who never asked their names. It was dangerous and unsanitary. Times have changed. This is a reputable hospital. An abortion is as acceptable here as an appendectomy or a lobotomy. Now, your name? Elizabeth Groon. Married? Single. Father? Father? Yes. Uh, who would have been the father? Do I have to tell? It's for the records. Herbie Feeney. Would this have been your first child? Yes. May I have his name? Whose name? The child's, the abortee's. What would his name have been? We hadn't really decided on one. I see. John Doe Feeney. Groon. Groon? John Doe Groon. We're not married. I see. Well, that answers most of our questions. Now, if you'll undress, I'll ring for the doctor. You're... you're sure it's going to be all right? Perfectly all right. Dr. Brooks is the best in the business. You'll be on your way home in an hour, uh, without John Doe Groom. Well, I guess... Uh, hello, Miss Groom. I'm Dr. Brooks. Would you lie down on the table, please? And don't be afraid. This is all perfectly legal and perfectly safe. All right? Yes. Good, good. Nurse, prepare the coat hanger. Okay, okay, all you prisoners in your seats. There'll be no standing during a concert. Yada, 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 yada! <laughs> Shut up. That's better. Now... The administration of Wholesome Prison is proud to present Johnny Hicks. go to prison. I'll never forget the time I was in prison. One time I stomped a cop. You know about cops. They hang around in prison. Well, I stomped this cop. And that was when I went to prison. Before we start singing, I like to thank the warden. The 
for letting us come here today. And he asked me to make one announcement. The warden asked me to tell you prisoners that when the concert is over, we're going to march out in single file and return to your cell. Cause they don't set me free till 1989 But while I'm here in prison doing time Elvira, age 88, of Pneumatic, Kansas. Beloved wife of the late Steve Elephant, the late Martin Van Buren, and the late Waldo Barlow. Loving mother of Fluffy Barlow, known professionally as Fluffy Marlow, and of Billy Barlow, known professionally as Fluffy Barlow. Body may be viewed in the family freezer. And now the program that asks the question, does a young woman's search for identity and fulfillment take on hidden meaning? And can love overshadow the shadow of the hour? Stay with us now for heartrending contemporary drama on Love of Grass. When we left Debbie and Bob, the police were searching the leather shop for Chuck the dealer, who was hiding in the window disguised as a clothing display. Chuck was struggling desperately to keep from sneezing as a fly walked slowly up his nose. One sneeze and it would be curtains. He's got to be here somewhere. I saw him come in. Take a look in the window. You take a look in the window. It's four o'clock. I'm off duty. So am I. Don't any of you kids leave. We're sending the next ship down here to look in the window. Let's get out of here. Boy, that was close. Help me out all this leather stuff. You okay, Chuck? Yeah, I'm okay. You got any dope? At the left, we figured that you'd... Hey, Smash, how you doing? Nah, I just ate a Kawasaki. Uh, ate a Kawasaki? I said I did mean the gang. The gang, indeed. Smash had quit the Masons to become the legendary leader of the most dreaded motorcycle gang. Club! Uh, the most dreaded motorcycle club in the state. The infamous Hell's Bells. You got any dope, man? Have I got any dope? Is the sky blue? You got any dope? I said I got dope, I got this hash. Is it any good? Is it any good? Does Cleveland start with a K? Does Cleveland start with a K indeed? This hash come directly from my old lady's ex-old man's cousin, 
who got it straight from the hands of the guy who got it from the road manager of the organic rhythm airs, who got it as a special present from a chick who actually once met Mick himself. Is it any good? Yeah, is it any good? Don't push me. You got a pipe? No pipes, posters, bells, beers. Oh, shut there. up. Yeah, here's a pipe. Yeah, this is Levishop. Right. We published The Hard Times Picayune. The Hard Times Picayune. Bob's pride and joy. It had started as the Lancaster Cat Letter, and Bob had built it into the country's leading underground paper, the only underground paper with a furniture section. Okay, give me your ad. Erotic acts between my buffalo and your girlfriend. You watch, I watch, we all get off. Yeah, we'll give you a box number. Right on, baby. Ciao. Bob, I want you should make something for me. Another pair of leather sunglasses? No, I, I want to put leather tires on my bike. The front one should have a picture of my old lady, and the back one should say you've just been run over by the hell's bells. Yeah, we could do that. Hey, Debbie, this pipe's all clogged up. I think there's another pipe in the back room. Try some of this stuff in the meantime. What is it? Snuff. What do you do with it? You shove it up your nose. Shove it up your nose, mother! No, don't hit him, don't hit him. De Debbie, go find that other pipe. That other pipe, indeed. Debbie went into the back room to begin searching through a two-year collection of debris. Bob, Chuck, and Smash were growing impatient when the front door opened and... Where's my daughter? Daughter? This is a leather shop. No daughters, no pipes, no posters. My daughter's run away. There's no runaways here, man. Why don't you run away? Can, can, I, can I leave a picture of her here? Maybe if someone will recognize her, I... Sure, sure, yeah. Just, just stick it up on the wall right next to the door. Thanks. Okay, bring in the picture. Hey, you can't put up a billboard in my store. A picture of my daughter. You said I can put up a picture. A picture of his daughter, indeed. The distressed father ordered his six-man crew to hang it up on the wall. There. Someone's sure to notice it. Notice it, indeed. Bob, isn't that... It sure is, Smash. It's Debbie. Debbie, indeed. Will Bob's old lady be wrenched out of his life? Will Debbie ever find that pipe in the back room? Will Nixon end the war? Be sure to be with us next time for another thrilling episode of Love of Grass. And now, the stupendous strongman, Crunchy Granola, will pick up a sailor. Leonardo, 1968, Plymouth, California license, AJS 243. Please remove it from the driveway. Come on and ride the ego trip. Come on. Hey, how about a little boost for the old ego? Come on, you, sir. Me? Step right in here. Yes, you. Come on inside, sir. Fifteen cents. Thank you. I'm just an ordinary person. You know, you don't want to. Just put this device on your head, sir. That's it. I, I, I don't belong here. I'm just a plumber. I'm just... I'm the greatest plumber in the world. Boy, can I put in a pipe? I could put in a pipe better than anybody. Boy, am I a plumber. And handsome? I must be the handsomest plumber in the world. I'm a genius. I'm... My God. I can tap dance. Tap dance. And I can do top wheels. I'm the most talented plumber in the world. The ego trip, the ego trip, ride again, 15 cents. Come on, ride the ego trip. <laughs> you don't want me. I'm just a plumber. The great predictor looks into the future, and yes, I see. I predict that marijuana will be legal in 19... Oh, 19... Uh... Oh, uh... oh, 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 19... Uh... Oh. Oh. Come on, get your ice cold mother's milk. Come on, get it. Would you look at this, Ethel? I never heard of an amusement park that had an orgy. Swedish orgy. It might be fun. I'm not taking you to a Swedish orgy. Then I'll go in without you. And you're not going in there alone. Isn't this exciting? Oh, yeah, really exciting. Welcome to the Swedish Orchie. Take off the clothes, I'm yeah. I'm not taking off my clothes. We have a girl to help you, Olga. Hey, I thought Swedish girls were thin and beautiful. Ah, <laughs> uh, Olga is so quick at the undressing. Olga, enough! Down, Olga. Good girl. Now we prepare for the sex activities by yumping in the cold water. I'm not yumping in any cold water. Olga! Yeah, now Olga helps you out in the cold water. Thank God. And into the hot water. 
Let me out of here. I'm boiling. Play the game, Arthur. You play the game. I'm getting out of here. And keep that Swedish Godzilla away from me. Arthur? No! Now the Swedish masseuse lays the man on the smorgasbord and rubs the fresh bay leaves on his body. See, Arthur, doesn't that feel good? It feels better than the boiling water. Ah, uh, Olga is so good with the bay leaves. It makes me think of the good old orgies we used to have in the snow in Sweden. I haven't had a good snow job in 40 years. Yeah, those were the days. I remember what we used to do with two women in a Volvo. Yeah, but most of all, I remember Mama. Yeah. Isn't that enough already with the leaves? Enough, yeah. Come over here now. No, I burned my feet. Yeah, those are the odd bricks. The odd bricks make the blood circulate for the sex activities. Can I put my shoes on? No, my no. My socks? Oh, no. We stand on the hot bricks, then we pick one of them up. Oh! You hold your hot brick in your hand like... Get your hands off my brick. Now the wife... Me? Yeah, the wife takes the man's hot brick and holds it in her hand while the man goes out in the snow. I'm not going out in any snow. Olga! I'm not going! No, would you get your hands off me? I'm, I'm not going! Have your picture taken in a wheelchair. Ten cents. Come on. Ten cents. Step right up, you sail away on the first, the last, the one and only voyage of the good ship, Titanic. Step right up on the gangplank, you step this way. Welcome to the full-size replica of the Titanic. Please stay within the yellow lines and do not throw objects over the side. The Titanic was the largest ship ever built, four city blocks in length, 11 stories high. This is the largest replica ever built, four city blocks in length, 11 stories high. I am the largest guide ever built for us. I am an exact reproduction of the Titanic's captain. Through the miracle of modern electronics, you will see the legendary tragedy of April 14, 1912, exactly as it occurred. As you know, the Titanic is unsinkable. However, we do carry emergency lifeboats for approximately 1,100 people. If you will look to your right, you will see some of our 2,207 passengers enjoying the mechanical reproduction of a pleasant spring evening. We have struck the iceberg. Please stay in line behind your tour guide. Ladies and gentlemen, there is absolutely no danger. Any two of the Titanic 16 watertight sections can be completely flooded and we will still have... These sections are flooded! Please stay within the yellow lines. Do not touch the survivors. To your right, you can see some of the Titanic's 29 boilers exploding. And in the first-class kitchen, you can hear the shattering of 15,000 cases of champagne, 8,000 cases of shelled walnuts. Children first. I am a child. I'm five years old. Let me on that boat. Don't rock the boat! If you look to your left, you will see a number of simulated bodies floating in the water. That is real water, and the temperature is a simulated 29 degrees Fahrenheit. And to your right, you can see the servants being thrown out of the first-class lifeboats. several bodies falling from the upper decks of simulated flames. Please do not step on these bodies. Stay within the yellow lines. And there goes the Titanic switchboard. There are 50 telephones on board the... Listen closely, you will hear the simulated wailing of a number of small children who have become trapped below the decks. This wailing is just as it was on the night of April 14, 1912. Please do not try to rescue the children. If you look down, you will see that the simulated water has now risen to your knees. Pay no attention to this. Now, if you will follow me down these steps, being careful. the owner of a 1971 Lincoln Continental, Nevada license plate one. Please remove it from the atrium. Spare chain, spare chain. Uh, yes, I'll have the Chief Justice Burger. And a Frankfurter. Spare time, spare time. 
Christ. Come on, come on, ride the accident. Come on, how about you, little girl? That's it. Step right in. Ride the accident. Mommy, I had an accident. Spare ribs. Spare ribs, mister. This is spooky. I was never in a wax museum before. Wow. Does he ever look strange? That's Edgar Allan Poe. What's he putting in his nose? <laughs> Once upon the midnight dreary. Oh, wow. Yeah. While I pondered, mumbled bleary. That's no good. <laughs> ah, while I pondered, weak and weary. Hi there. I'm George Washington. I've got the biggest hemp plantation in Virginia. Can I offer you a taste? Dr. There. Watson, I can tell from the simple clues that this syringe was filled with, uh, yes, with, uh, uh, yes. Who's this one? It's Sigmund Freud. Hey, look. This cocaine is driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. I'm going crazy with the cocaine. Oh. Keep your right hand on the right hand rail. Your left hand on the left hand rail. And both hands on your wrists. Friends, you're looking at a device that'll save you hours of toil and trouble every time you feel the natural urge to get stoned. Yes, this is the amazing dopamatic you've heard so much about. Simply drop in a... Get away from me, kid. You bother me. Simply drop in a lid of the seediest unclean dope. The dopamatic automatically removes the seeds and plants them, then rolls the pure seedless leaves into perfect joints. Hundreds of joints from one lid, thousands from a kilo. Yes, and this talented little machine will even smoke your joint for you, and then it will sing and play your musical instrument. And that's not all. No no, sir, if you order right now, in addition to your dopamatic, you'll receive absolutely free a vegematic. It minces, quinces, rices, dices, slices, and cuts prices. It will make a pile of splinters out of anything from an onion to an automobile. And it's all yours if you order the amazing dopamatic today. Void where prohibited by law. Hi ho, Escargo! Who was that? Well, the only of the Silver and Lavender Rolls Royce. Quebec license 4973214569931. Please remove it from the men's room. You are entering Bummerland. May we direct your attention to the world's greatest roller coaster, the Downer. Be sure to see our musical attraction the Ecology Bandwagon, featuring Brown Rice and his band of renown. You are entering Bummerland. May we direct your attention to your own inadequacies. Be sure to visit your own mother in genuine styrofoam, no 80 feet high. Eating or snorting. All right, step right up. Step right up and ride the downer. The most exciting. I'll buy a ticket. A bright young man. Yes, the most you sir. One more. Step right through the gate here. Okay, all aboard. Can't ride without a ticket. Ride the downer. The most. Step right in, sir. Okay, close it up. From the president. That number is listed in your directory. I just asked for a trim. I'm afraid you got the big C. 
You gotta get that water bed out of here. We've been going over your tax return and, uh... This is what you ordered, honey. The doctor said all you have to do is come in for a shot. All right, step right up and ride the downer. The most exciting ride... Kool-Aid, get your Kool-Aid. I just cut my finger. Uh, this is Kool-Aid. You want first aid. Turn left. Step right up. Okay, okay. Come on, dunk the cup. Three baseballs for a quarter. Hit the bullseye and watch him fall in the water. Come on, you... Yeah, have... yeah, here's my quarter. Get ready for a bath, pig. You're the one who needs a bath, you hippie weirdo. Why don't you cut your hair? You'd be able to see, freako. Another minute, I'll see you in the water. You freako commie. If you were a real American, you'd know how to throw a baseball. You'd be a... Oh. Sit there and soak, pig. What's my prize? Prize? You're under arrest for assault with police officers. Will the owner of a Hickey Freeman suit please remove it? Kool-Aid, get your... I will have one. This is Kool-Aid. You want foreign aid. Turn left. What's an attempt? I don't know. Come on, kids. Come on. See the sideshow. The wonders of the world right inside. Come on. You'll see Madame Patchouli, the oil woman. You'll see the tattooed man, the mule-faced boy. You'll see the fat lady eat a pound and a quarter of organic chicken liver right before your very eyes. Come on, the show's about to begin. This better be worth it. I think it's perverse. Perverse, young lady? Just the word. Step right through the gate. Come on, step Ladies and gentlemen, I was born of normal parents, but I am a freak of medical science. I was born as you see me now, half hip and half straight. <laughs> you say, ugh. Be thankful you are not like me. You see on the one side the long hair, the bushy beard, on the other the true cut. You see the right side of my body stoned on grass, the left side drunk. The right side of my body goes on peace marches, the left side throws rocks. Give prayers that There are 2,309 separate tattoos on my body, and each of them does a trick when I move my muscles. Notice the hula girl on my bicep. See how she dances. <laughs> Notice on my back how the sailing ship sinks in the ocean. Notice the large and fancy door on my stomach. When I move the muscles, the door opens and you see hundreds of people waving to you. Hello, hello! Notice the train around my waist. When I move, the train goes to Cincinnati. And when I bend over, it spells, wow! There's no other player either who can do this a trick. I light the candle and I put it in my mouth. And I proceed to swallow it. Ah, a good candle. In addition to being a fire eater, I am also a rain drinker and a windbreaker. First, I will demonstrate the drinking of a rain, and then I will demonstrate the breaking of a wind. Hey, Linda, flea circus. Flea circus, young man, you dare insult my performers? Sure looks like a flea circus to me. Young lady, you see before you the most talented array of insects under the Hippodrome, and not one mangy flea among them. They still look like fleas. Young man, watch the acrobats. Notice how they walk the tightrope, how they swing on the trapeze. These are no mere fleas. What are they? Crabs. Trained crabs? I trained mine, you can train yours. Crabs are much more talented than fleas, and easier to get. Take a look over here. See the chorus line? Yeah. Ringworms. And these over here, the ones balancing the balls on their tail. The streptococcus viruses. Sure, we got them all. We got the long During short. your stay in Conception Land, be sure and visit our attractive whorehouse. Kool-Aid, get your... This is Kool-Aid. You want Band-Aid. Turn left. Okay, folks, the show's about to begin. Right inside our tent, you'll see the one, the only, Mad Doctor. That's right, you'll see him in all his eerie violence. You'll hear his terrifying screams. You'll watch him as he's subdued by one of our own death-defying security guards. Step right inside, folks, and see the one, the only, Mad Doctor. Oh, my God! Now they want to socialize medicine! That's a Take it easy, Doc! Take it easy! Sure, you're not the one who can drive his Cadillac to the poorhouse! You're not the one! Take it easy! Roll up your sleeve, Doc! That's a good boy! The Mad Doctor, ladies and gentlemen. See him again in 45 minutes, the Mad Doctor. 
one cotton candy? Sorry, lady, we're out of cotton candy. How about a cute? This fine set of teakwood bowling pins is sold to the gentleman in the second row for $85. Now, lot number 16. A bankruptcy sale on behalf of the Pentagon, a firm forced out of business by the current world situation. The property to be sold consists of 16 million fine men's suits in brown and navy, 4,000 latrines in brown and yellow, numerous assorted non-returnable prisoners of war, one stepladder camouflaged to resemble a bicycle, 20 tons of Vietnamese heroin, 64 Philippine islands with inhabitants, 4 million volumes of papers marked top secret, one large sign reading welcome to French Indochina, one office building convenient to Washington, several Swiss bank accounts, dump trucks 22,000, transport vehicles 81,000, tanks a million, several hundred thousand dog tags bearing names as follows, Aaron, Abata, Abato, Abby, Abbott, Abel, Abelard, Abernathy, Abner, Abrams. Kool Aid, get your. This is Kool Aid. You want ice cafe? Turn left. I am Odd, the Wizard of Conception Land. If you want your wish granted, bring me three groupies. Brain, Kramer, Grendel, Grenshaw, Cranston, Crawford, Crichton, Grenshaw. Who's gonna be next? Come on, try the shoot gallery. Show your girlfriend how good you are with a gun. Come on, prove you're a man, you puny runt. I'm sorry, I just don't like guns. What do you mean you don't like guns? What kind of an American are you? Well, I, I just don't think it's right. You don't think it's right? Well, you're gonna think it's right when the commies start marching down your street. Right, Lily Liver? Well, I... Shut up, sister. You can't do Fill that. out this card. Don't sign it. You gotta sign it, Pilgrim. All our guns are registered. Registered in the shooting gallery? It's the law, mister. You thinking about breaking the law of this great nation? Oh, say, can you see? I'll, I'll sign it, I'll sign it, I'll sign it. Good, now. Excuse me, that target is... That? That's a Vietnamese baby on a stick. That's disgusting. It beats the hell out of wooden rabbits. Jerry, I think we should. Will the man who put his money where his mouth was please remove it? Come on, test your weakness. Test your weakness. Come on, you sir. Step right up. Me? Yes, sir, you. Come on, see if you can resist temptation. Here. Here is a whole pound of fine Turkish hashish. Take it, it's yours. No, no, I don't. Uh... Take it, sir, it's all yours. Come no, on. I, I can live without it, I'm strong enough to. Here, $50,000 in cash. Take it, stick it in your pocket. Come on, every man's got his price, and I bet yours is 50,000 big ones. Come on, come on. No, no, my money isn't everything. I can go on living with How about uh... this lovely young lady stripped down naked for your every pleasure? She's all yours. No, I, uh... Take her, please, take her. Take her, come on, no, take her. No, no, really, I... You've done it! You have done it! You've resisted all three temptations. You could have had any one of them, but you had the fortitude to stick it out. Yes, sir. Well, that's great. Well, what do I win? Win? I should say so, sir. You win a six-pack of beer.
And now, on the great Conception Land stage, we are proud to present the first poets. I am. Kaida! Kaida! What's happening? I see Goyim out there. All you Goyim out of here. Out! Out! Get out! If you want to stay, stay. Otherwise, out! Out with the Goyim! Power to the temple! Oive! Jewish kids! Jewish, 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 K-E-W-I-S-H. Jewish, 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 Jewish,